Vaginal suppositories possess the ability to treat HPV and cervical dysplasia directly at the site of the infection. This is in contrast to diet and supplements, which work indirectly by addressing nutritional deficiencies and by relying on plant compounds that inhibit the dysplastic process. Curcumin is the primary yellow pigment found in the root of turmeric. It is a strong antioxidant, it's anti-tumor, it's anti-cancer, and it's an anti-inflammatory. Epigallocatechin-3 gallate, EGCG, is the primary bioactive polyphenol found in green tea. Green tea also is a very strong antioxidant. It's anti-tumor, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's anti-cancer. There are 14 high-risk HPV strains, and what distinguishes high-risk HPV strains from low-risk HPV strains or wart HPV strains is that high-risk HPV strains possess E6 and E7 oncogenes. What these oncogenes do is they damage your cell by downregulating tumor suppression genes such as the P53 and the PRB genes. So when you get infected with HPV, the virus starts producing these E6 and E7 oncoproteins and those ultimately downregulate the activity of the very things that prevent cancer in your cells, which are these tumor suppression genes. Research has demonstrated that both curcumin and green tea have the ability to degrade the E6 and E7 oncoproteins while increasing the activity of your tumor suppression genes. Let's take a look at the research. This is a 2014 study that it actually looked at a few things, curcumin, EGCG, which is green tea, as well as indole-3-carbonyl. Indole-3-carbonyl I talk about in some other videos. It is also useful for um, HPV and cervical dysplasia. But they, um, you know, they looked at the fact that these are natural inhibitors against the E6 oncoprotein that you find in some of the high-risk viruses. Uh, this one specifically was HPV-16. But what they found was that um, all of these substances, curcumin, green tea, I3C, helped restore uh, P53 functioning. And this is a 2006 study that found that uh, curcumin helped kill cervical cancer cells. A apoptosis is uh, cell death. So curcumin helped uh, destroy uh, cancer cells that were infected with HPV. And curcumin also selectively inhibited the expression of those oncogenes E6 and E7. This is a 2011 study that find that curcumin treatment inhibits the transcription of the E6 and E7 oncogenes. This one again was looking at HPV-16 and it does it as early as six hours post-treatment. It also restored the expression of the tumor suppression proteins P53, PRB, and this PTPN13 is another uh, type of tumor suppression gene that does a number of things to prevent cancer. They, the authors of this study found that, you know, these findings imply that curcumin may be an effective chemopreventive and therapeutic agent for cervical cancer prevention and treatment. This is a 2023 study that found that HPV positive cervical cancer cell lines, that's the HeLa and the Caskey, where those are two different types of cancer cell lines that are used to study cervical cancer, they were treated with curcumin and the results showed that curcumin has a dose-dependent and a time-dependent inhibitory effect on cell viability. So in other words, um, when exposed to curcumin, cancer cells are not viable. They end up dying. They also selectively inhibited the expression of the viral oncoproteins again, the E6 and E7 oncoproteins and that curcumin regulates apoptosis or cell death, migration, invasion of cervical cancer cells. And they, the authors of this study found that the mechanism may be related to its ability to downregulate the E6 oncogene. This was a combination study. This is interesting because this was a study that looked at the topical application of curcumin, green tea, resveratrol, and their ability to um, treat cervical cancer and, and inhibit tumor uh, progression. 
what they found was that there was a rapid uh, down regulation of HPV 18 E6 oncogene and NF kappa B expression. NF kappa B is uh, an inflammatory mediator. So they found that it uh, down regulated the E6 oncogene. It was acted as an anti inflammatory while concomitantly inducing the tumor suppression protein P53 in cervical cancer cells. Um, you know, I'm focusing on tumor suppression and some of these tumor suppression genes. There's other mechanisms whereby curcumin and green tea and some other plant compounds inhibit cervical dysplasia and cervical cancer. Some of those are some of those uh, mechanisms don't involve E6 and E7 oncogenes and they don't necessarily involve tumor suppression genes. They do some other things like anti-inflammatories block the dysplastic process through a variety of mechanisms. I actually talk about um, three or four different mechanisms how HPV causes dysplasia and cervical cancer in my book. Let's move on to uh, green tea a bit more. Uh, here's a 2021 study that found that green tea treatment was associated with the degradation of the E6 and E7 oncoproteins as well as an upregulation of their associated tumor suppression genes. And the authors found that this suggests that green tea was able to block productive viral replication and differentiating keratinocytes. Um, those are basically keratinocytes or epithelial cells that are similar to what you find on the cervix. Uh, this is the last study. This was a 2023 study looking at green tea. They found that green tea extracts play a critical role in suppressing HPV oncogenes and oncoproteins, the E6 and E7 oncogenes, which are responsible for the cancer activity and cancer develop development in, um, in the cervix. Now there's about 80 or 90 studies uh, on specifically on curcumin and green tea. I, I just chose a handful just to kind of make my point. I'm not going to go through 80 or 90 studies. So what does this all mean? Well, it means that you may want to treat HPV and cervical dysplasia topically with curcumin and green tea. Now there's not a lot of products out there available for this purpose, so I developed my own curcumin and green tea suppositories. Now my green tea suppository also has berberin in it because berberin is an alkaloid compound that has similar effects to curcumin and green tea in its ability to upregulate tumor suppression genes. It's also very strong antiviral, so it will help with viral clearance. Each box of suppositories that I've produced contains 24 ovules. Now I recommend to use each suppository, the curcumin and the green tea, twice per week. So 24 ovules in a box will last 12 weeks. So in other words, you get about a three month intervention of treatment. I suggest using each one twice a week. So in other words, you could use the green tea suppository on Monday and Thursday, and the curcumin suppository on Tuesday and Friday. Thank you for watching the video. In the description below, I have product links as well as how to reach me.